Lume Tial. Very pretty. Definitely very pretty down here. Anything, uh, anything good around here? I see not so far. I mean, I did see that there's something in the middle, like up there, but I'm trying to see if there's anything down here before I go up for that. That looks a little funny. That might be because I lowered some of the shadows or something. Because I figured it was going to be even more laggy if I left the shadows high. Alright, well, let's go and check out what this is. Telekinesis. Ooh. What makes you an intelligent being? It's not your hands nor your eyes, but your mind. Even a beast can control its hands and react thanks to its sight. But how many can make a shield and a sword out of nothing? Ooh, I get to make a sword and a shield? I want that. Uh, you are not your body. You are your mind. The pile of flesh that throbs in your skull is the only ve or is only the vehicle. The real you cannot be seen nor heard, but it can be perceived, and the darkness as well as the light is watching you. The more you use your mind, the more you progress. Puck rocks! Uh, <laughs> only a few people will get what I just did there. Uh, and the more they know uh, where you are, Everything has changed. Once they were good, they lived for us. But the betrayal of our minds has not gone unnoticed, nor unpunished. And although the story has changed, everything is the same. The truth has set us free. But maybe that was our ruin. I'm writing this uh, just now with the power of my mind. What I only need needed to say was... Uh, Obi... I don't know. Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. Uh, and the quill started moving according to my thoughts. Moreover, the runes said that objects can be moved nearer and farther while manipulating them, saying uh, ectonomet or nemet ecto. Ectonomet. Yeah. Uh, is my mind really that strong? I'm starting to feel something inside me. I can't say what it is, but still, something is really changing in me. Well, at least they haven't, uh, they haven't said so far that I'm saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> oh boy. What do we have here? Only with the thought. Not everyone is ready to move objects with the power of the mind. It is an intervention on reality that makes the forces of nature hitherto observed less absolute, and many prefer to continue to conceive the world as they have seen it all along. The journey into knowledge of many pilgrims would stop here, being unable to see behind the veil. So, um, let's try this out. Can I move, like, a pot or something? What was the spell again? I forget. Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Ectonamet. Oh, that's cool. It actually shows you what direction it's going. And if I cancel the spell, it cancels the direction it's going, but not the uh, pot being held. Nemet ecto. That's really neat. Really neat indeed. Lume Tial. Oop, oh, anti magic somewhere. Lume Tial. Can't see a damn thing over here. 
Okay. They really don't want me to use Lumetiel right now. <laughs> Kind of gets bright in here. I guess I don't really need it at the moment. Aha. Uh -huh. So I guess I'm supposed to move this and reflect it just like I did before. Obikinu. I just plop this on here. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Ectolume. Hold the middle mouse button. To rotate the view. Ooh. <laughs> that is awesome. That's quite helpful. Alright, let's see. Uh, a little more. Uh, ooh. Okay, so this is... Okay, I saw it for a second and it was pointing down. So if all of these mirrors... Well, you know, when we went on the other mirror before that was this mirror, it was pointing up towards the ceiling, so... It doesn't really matter. I just gotta figure out which one of these does it. Let's see. Uh, that goes the wrong way. No. Nope. Actually, hold the phone. I wonder something. Ectolume. Ectolume. Can I? Oh, I can see which direction these things point immediately. Where is that pointing? Okay, that points at the door, more or less, so I think that's the one. No. No. Uh, I saw... Like, I'm seeing a light jumping over here for a second. I don't know why. Alright, so... That means I want it on the one that's slightly glowing pink. Okay. That's about right. Uh, incorrect. Sounds like I got it. Is that closing? I'm hearing the sound from over there, but uh, okay, whatever. I don't know if this thing will close on me, but let's get through it. Nope. It definitely does not close on me. Good to know. Lume Tial. Hmm. We have another couple of directions to go. What's going on over here? Lots of little loading things. Oh, hey. This is where we started, isn't it? There should be an elevator here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing at this point we probably need to move the pillars that are in that room with our telekinesis spill. The spell. <laughs> spill. We need the spill. Alright, and I think that room is down here. Yep, this certainly looks familiar. What is that? Oh, I guess it's just a torch. Thought for a second it was uh, something that I could do something with. Obikinu. Holy shit. That's huge. Alright. You go there. Don't crush me, please. Obikinu. Okay, um... I might as well save. We did a lot of stuff. Cool. What do we have going on through this door? Lume Tial. No thanks. Let's let's not do that. That's kind of creepy looking. Ectolume. Back off, you little shits. Updated journal, huh? 
the power I'm looking for. At every door I walk through, at every hallway I cross, and in every room I visit, the temple puts me in front of new difficulties. But it also shows incredible wonders, teaches me new powerful spells, and gives me the tools to continue. But do I really want to go on? Will I be able to pass the tests that I will be faced with? Will I be able to endure the sacrifices that will be asked? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I have no alternatives. Only here I can find the power that I seek. Ooh. I guess one of those things was still left. Lume Tial. Looks like there's something up here. Fucking creepy angels go- Oh, hey! She moved her face! That's that's not that's not good. Did am, am I imagining that? Did she? No, she definitely did. Uh. Haha. <laughs> um. Yeah. Is this supposed to be the light and dark statues that are watching me? Like they know that I'm here. It's like there's another one of those eye things. That is creepy. I don't like turning my back on angel statue, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's gonna come after me at the moment. Uh. Anyone who knows what I'm talking about knows that there's a reason to be creeped out right now. <laughs> Especially because of what it's doing there. Alright, well, I guess I can move one of these blocks to go say hi. Obi Kenu. This also kind of gives me a feeling of amnesia with the blocks like that. What is this? The History of Temples. Uh, Zenith links together not only all places all the places in the universe, but the minds of those who inhabit it. Through the portals of the temples, different civilizations have had the opportunity to meet, collide, and influence each other. The aim of the temples is the communication between cultures and the spread of the supreme knowledge, that is to say, magic. A wise use of the enormous power that comes from them allows the construction of a society without suffering and injustice. However, over time, the teaching of order was misunderstood and the three gods forgotten. With the decline of civilization and worship, the temples, once the crossroads of life and different cultures, were labeled as blasphemous, abandoned, and even destroyed. Those that still stand are now dangerous places. You need a key just to get close to them without being overwhelmed by their immense power. So I wonder if the necklace that I've got on is a key or something. I don't know. Uh, the spirit of a mortal would be quickly corrupted by, uh, corrupted up to madness and then destroyed without the aid of such an artifact. So basically we're going into the Lair of Cthulhu. That sounds about right. Alright. Uh, anyways. But uh, those that own one should be aware. They didn't find it by sheer luck. It was intended for them. So I guess the necklace that I've got is intended for me, unless this is not, uh, well, I mean, this is a temple, and, hmm. Alright. I do not know. You are creepy as shit. Lumetiel. Aha. Mark of Command. All right, Tial Uda. Oh, so 
with that. Aha! Okay, I see. So, what I'm probably meant to do is obey... What was the other word? I forget now. Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. Not obey. <laughs> Whatever. Obi Kenu. Uh, ecto Namet. Uh, wrong one. Namet Ecto. Namet Ecto. Um. I, okay. Ecto Namet? Okay, it was the right one. I don't know why it did the. The other one. Why is this not moving? Ecto Namet. There we go. Alright, let's see. So I want it under there. That seems right ish. Let's see. Tial Uda. Did I get that right? Yes, that is the right location for it. However, I can't duck, so I can't go under that. I need the one that's down here to be uh, there as well. Is there anything else here? Because if I get through there, I'm going to be stuck on the other side. Can I move this? obi -kenu. No. I cannot move that. It looks like a plaque that was on the wall or something. So I thought, hey, maybe I can move this and just have it with me. But no such luck. All right. Anyway, Obi Kenu, Namet Ecto, uh, Namet Ecto, right about there. Tial Uda. All right, let's make a run for it. Made it. Ha ha! I win, bitch. All right. Uh, is there anything else around here? My death, apparently. I wonder if those people uh, stabbing each other and pulling out eyes and all that kind of stuff was because they were getting close to this temple and they didn't have the artifact. Ooh, laggy. Yeah, whenever it's loading, super laggy. The key. The pendant is the key. Yep, just like I thought. It's only thanks to this that I could get this far. The last gift of my beloved Leaf was my salvation, though she certainly had no idea. I wish I hadn't needed it, and that it was still with her. Lagginess. Some sort of statue thing. Yeah, I kind of have to wait for it to uh, finish loading to get the lagginess to go away. So I think what I'll do... Checkpoint 1, huh? I think what I'll do is I'm going to save it here and uh, wait for it to load and then we'll be right back.